So today we are in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge and this is in southwestern Arizona. We camped right here last night. We had that view behind us. This is Signal Peak up here and a place called Palm Canyon. And this site can be found right off of the Kofa Queen Road or trail, which heads up into the mountains over here and it goes to a place called Skull Rock. Now, we're not going that far today. We are just gonna hike up the road a little bit and out into the country just to kind of show people what you can find up here and what kind of opportunities they have if they decide to come down here and check this area out. It's one of the things that makes this a really nice place to come and camp is the refuge rules state that you can camp anywhere along the road within 100 feet of the road. And as you can see, as we're walking up here, you know, there's this really nice flat rocky area. You've got another one right over in this section. We camped on something similar last night and there are going to be these kind of pullouts that you can camp along all along this road. And I suspect in some of the other roads in the refuge, the refuge is huge. This place is over 600,000 acres. Most of it is protected as wilderness and it has a lot of old mining history. The Kofa stands for King of Arizona and that was a gold and silver mine that was active in the late 1800s and they just kind of adapted that name for the wildlife refuge. It's one of those areas where you get an overlap of Mojave Desert and Sonoran Desert so you're going to see a lot of things like the creosote brush which you see all over in the Mojave and Choya cactus also in the Mojave but then of course you can see in the distance there are saguaro cactus too and these bushes are called alcatillo. Not a whole lot of big cities and light pollution around here so you can end up finding some really nice dark skies. There's some real nice saguaro cactus around here. This is the first time I've ever really camped around it before. Established in 1939, the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge is a large protected area located in Yuma County, Arizona. The refuge covers over 665,000 acres of desert and mountain terrain, most of which is protected as the 548,000 acre Kofa Wilderness, making it the second largest wilderness area in Arizona and one of the largest wildlife refuges in the lower 48. The refuge was created to provide a safe haven for the endangered desert bighorn sheep as well as other wildlife such as mule deer, coyotes, mountain lions, the endangered Sonoran pronghorn, and desert tortoises. It also serves as a stopover point for migratory birds and provides habitat for numerous plant species including various cacti and yuccas. In the 1920s, the desert bighorn sheep population in the region began to decline sharply due to overhunting and habitat loss. Concerned conservationists lobbied for the creation of a protected area to help preserve the species. In 1936, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed an executive order creating the Kofa Game Range, which was later expanded and renamed the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. The population of desert bighorn sheep, estimated to be less than 100 animals prior to the creation of the refuge, was recently estimated to be between 400 and 800 animals. They live mainly in two ranges that dominate the refuge landscape, the Kofa Mountains and the Castle Dome Mountains. In recent years, this herd has provided animals for transplanting throughout Arizona and neighboring states. Yeah, I really like this place. You should definitely come and check it out. I will make sure I put the coordinates on how to get here and where we camped. And if you ever get a chance or find yourself in the area, this is definitely a worthwhile stop to come and 
look at things. There's a lot of really nice cactus out here. I've seen some interesting insects. And of course, these mountains are absolutely spectacular. Well, we're going to wander back over to the road, which is over in this direction, and wander back to camp. Today, the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and is open to the public for a variety of recreational activities, including hiking, camping, wildlife watching, and hunting. Well, we made it back to the road and we are going to wander back down to our campsite. The wind has finally stop blowing so hard. It's been a really cold trip down here to Southern California and Southern Arizona this year. We hit it just at the right time when they had an unprecedented cold front to come in and dump a lot of snow in the higher mountains and bring a lot of cold temperatures and freezing conditions. But that's all right. It's still been real nice. Last couple days here have been nice and sunny. It's been a really good time. Well, good morning. We are hiking up into a place called Palm Canyon, which is in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. So this Palm Canyon, from what I was reading up at the trailhead, Palm Canyon was formed when an ancient volcanic caldera collapsed and ended up fracturing this area, which has opened it up to erosion. And that is, of course, how you get this canyon that we're hiking up into. But it looks really cool. I've really enjoyed this Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. I would highly recommend taking a trip down here someday. It's really, really nice. This is looking to the west towards the parking lot and out into the valley. It's a real nice trail. There's quite a few people on it. This trail definitely is fairly easy to hike up. You can bring your dogs, but they need to be on a leash. And there are quite a few people out here. This is the most people we've seen in a few days. But I can see why so many people like to come up here. So we are at the top of the trail. The trail continues, and I think we're gonna wander up there a little farther, but this is an area where the you can actually see the palms, which is what, of course, they named the canyon after. And they are must be a good source of water. So we're going to keep hiking 
and go up this trail a little bit farther. So the trail definitely gets a little bit more brushy. Still really easy to find though. But this canyon, absolutely spectacular. This is the first agave we've seen. What, what happens? Oh, it is a dead end. Yeah, but I'll take a picture. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people have. It's a nice view though. So this ended up being the wrong turn here. This is a really well used area and it comes up to this little ledge along here, which of course the view is absolutely spectacular, but this is not the trail that goes up the canyon. We're gonna go find that in a minute. All right, we made it back down to the bottom of the wash. That is where the trail is. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep hiking up. This trail gets increasingly obscure in this upper part. Uh, there are some rock cairns that you want to keep a lookout for. And there'll be other areas where you can see the trail real well, but it goes through a lot of big rocks and boulders. I think the route finding, yeah, sometimes it's just difficult to uh, see the right path. This ledge right up here is where we were a few minutes ago. But of course, that's a dead end trail. It'll take you up to that, you got a nice view, and then you have to come back down to come back up here. But you'll still have a nice view. negotiating our way around these boulders. There's a nice path though, you just gotta stop and look. So we're gonna stop here and take a little break and take in the view. So we'll be back in a few minutes. So I noticed some palm trees up in this little side canyon. We're going to uh, walk up there and see if we can get to them. You know, we got some brush we gotta walk around here. Ow, Jesus. Ow. Hmm. Well, this bush over here is really sharp. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed it. Ow. All right. Ooh, these are all sharp. Wow, there's some sharp things up there. I don't know how feasible this is gonna be, guys.
Well, there is one palm growing kind of at the base of this dry fall over here. And there's another one. Looks like it's a dead one. So things are getting really sharp and spiny up here. So I think we're going to actually turn around and go back down. Snagged myself a few times on some thorn bushes. It kind of hurts. This is the tough part right here. These little guys, all those little tiny thorns on them. Just grab at your clothes, your hands, camera, tripod, whatever. All right. There's where we started. There's Isabel down there. And uh, there's looking down Canyon. So that that I was just pointing at is that palm tree I was trying to get to, but a lot of these bushes down here are really thorny and not very good to crawl around in. So we're gonna head back down to the truck. If you were ever, ever out in this area, I would highly recommend stopping by and hiking up Palm Canyon. This place is absolutely spectacular. You know, it's the middle of the day and uh, the uh, shadow of the wall just to the south makes it a nice cool area back here, so. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos about hiking and camping out here on America's public lands, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And you can join us again for another adventure. Until then.